Morning, Jennifer. Morning. Yeah, me did talk to you yesterday and me say you're a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. But, me see you come out now and I confess. Hmm? I confess to the plank of them. Yeah, yeah I confess. And you know, you go on like say you wasn't the biggest cheerleader. You was the biggest cheerleader over here. Mm -hmm. And now you and yam you won't vomit. Yes. Me see you and yam you won't vomit. And I suck up to Dana. Yes. I like me see you go on. Yeah. So, you don't know what I have evidence. Mm -hmm. Me have voice note and all kind of note over here. Yeah. So, you me, me can't fling it out. You know, I chew me no one fling out nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me can't fling out things. But I chew me no one to turn up social media. You know, that's why me not bad. Yeah. But now you wipe your mouth clean and hide your hand now after you fling so much big stone down the yard. Mm -hmm. And you wipe your hand clean and go and like, you know, do nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you come out with cake review and all kind of something and treat people them now. And then find out, say, you are a troublemaker now. You come out and uh, try to damage control or some kind of control. But... You know, I'll go work, you know. Mm -hmm. You better stay in and nobody come back out because, you know, me we, me we throw this and thing that we have over here. Mm -hmm. You know, I say me that big time record and me have all kind of recording over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and does that me I'll tell you? Jennifer, I me don't talk. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Yeah, you know, I go already. So, me see something me break up this morning and buck up in a something. Mm -hmm. Some kind of confession. Uh, maybe damage control. Mm -hmm. And so me see it. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. I feel there's some kind of damage control. I go on. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. And from last week, we did want to come and talk about hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's so much hypocrisy on social media. And this individual is a real hypocrite. Mm -hmm. That's what me I go say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, by me not really know the person, but them actions, mm -hmm. me see, say, look like them a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. So, it was last week, me book up, in you know, one video, what she do, about Gracie. Mm -hmm. So, she was saying that Gracie running a church, and she thought Gracie was doing really well. And then she see Gracie, she share something what Gracie put out. You know, go do some live or something and she share it. And then she was shocked to see, hear what Gracie was saying about um, TC and the others, yeah. So she thought it was some kind of Christian preaching in you know, a go but it wasn't, it was mixed up. And Gracie said she done with mix up and she come back out and I do mix up and all these things. And I was there thinking, what has it got to do with you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, people, one minute she, she come out and said she retired. She now come out, she, she, they on holiday and she retired. We decided to social media next minute she out. People come out and say they done with mix up and then obviously if your channel is based on that kind of mix up and drama once you start to do something different people um don't really support your channel so sometimes people change their mind them hello to change their mind and not because you're a christian you can't talk about what the, it mix up is going going on in social media however i think grace did do a mix up in the night and in the morning she did do um devotion so she had a lot to say about gracie in a very nasty way mm -hmm. yeah because it looked like said Gracie eat me my white fowl or something. But it really annoys me when we hear a, a pick pan young people. Hmm? A big woman, a pick pan young people. Hmm? So that she pray for Gracie. She picking on Gracie. So, so me, when she had gone, I think to myself, but these people, them that you associate, or your ex associates, or that, they might do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Somebody write in the comment section and say that. And she more or less said it's different for them because mm -hmm, they're not fully whatever. Mm, something, something like some foolishness like that, but it's different for Gracie. Mm -hmm. Gracie must stay in a church and they do the same thing. 
them them have prime meeting in the morning and then they tear down in the evening so them and the uh, people are cross and them are um michelle over the camp are cross and are said the most over there so it's the same thing hey, hey if you're using your platform to do that kind of thing it's the same thing mm -hmm. and so that's what i'm saying these people are so hypocritical upon social media and then them see them once and them so intelligent and all this mm -hmm. So this morning, now me see this confession thing, and I will pass up and I go on on social media surrounding her. So me know say I choose she did do the cake review, and Joe Joe Bongo or whatever that channel over Facebook post it, and people she getting a lot of backlash and maybe people behind the scenes saying things to to her. So she had to come out with a video. So it was a confession video, yeah. Hiding her hands really like so she not do not wiping her mouth clean. Mm -hmm. That's all me see it, yeah. So that's how the video did come across to me to say that, you know, last year, it was longer than last year, really, that all this was going on behind the scene because me see video and hear things out there. Mm -hmm. But because, as I say, I'm not on social media for that. Me come, me did come on social media for do little bit of, things when we see things you know you know the injustice and all and something that we talk about every little thing yeah a little drama yeah so um i'm not here to tear anybody down or do anything like that but there's things out there that if you want to be nasty you could talk about these things yes so yeah there's things out there now and you know once you try to hide your hand people will come up with things because then record everybody and so and you can see the reason why she can't talk anything bad about the people them over the fence because them probably have recording and things for drop because I saw them go on when it comes to things like that. But when I, somebody that say they are intelligent here, me, me, you know, because them always put themselves on the intelligent scale and other people don't. So when you say intelligent and you're saying, I've been poking my nose in, you know, basically I was saying all these things and I was this and I was that. To me, you sound like a bad mind um, because why are you watching at these things when it's nothing to do with you? Mm -hmm. You're going to go to the length where you're going to call a bank to make inquiries about collect, picking up on all these things, yeah? When it, not, it don't concern you mm -hmm. and you, you was on that person on that side but you're making that you're not on that side yeah um and then you're saying i've never tried to tear anybody down and never use the word scammer but you actually you know affiliated with that team and digging up and trying to find out things so what are you saying you know me no me no me, me not understand me a bit confused yes so me don't know what you're saying because you can't say you're on a team that's in doing investigation and inquiries and then you're saying you're not part of it really how do you how can you actually say you're not part of it that part may not understand you know you're not saying because that the people them on that it's like going to a church and they're preaching a certain thing and you're saying um you know i'm not you can't i suppose you could go to a church and them might preach but after a while you wouldn't go read after you go two time and you know like what am I say at that church? You don't move away from it, then because you're thinking I don't believe in your doctrine. So I need to you know, I need to distance myself away from it. But if you're still if you're participating with them and making investigation, to me you're part of it, you're part of that corruption. Um from what the word was on the street, if you say that you distance yourself from it a bit because you was you start up your own channel so you probably now was focusing on your channel but in at the same what me here upon the street you know me listen to everything upon the street and um there we don't know whether you'll still be on the scene doing things we don't know this so i mean i will say you're not do it but somebody say you got fake channel um fake um fake thing on facebook and you never come out to say you know gusso mm -hmm. and when we look on that thing it kind of want to look like it gusso because a lot of the things that have been posted on that channel is all linked to the people them and you're sharing them page so 
and wondering, you know, we, you know, for my life, we wonder if something goes so for true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then you used to sometimes put little things on you, on your page, like for example, one somebody, one ex banker was talking the most about the individual down at the shop, yeah, um, and some other things that you posted on your channel. So if you're not a part of it, why are you posting it on your channel? That's 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 the question i'd want to ask really because if i'm posting something on my channel i believe in what they're saying yeah so my um theory in all of this now is saying now uh, you see say the camper combo mm -hmm. so you're distancing yourself from it yeah that's my it's my opinion you're distancing yourself because of you literally say from what you see that's why you buy it. just the one key can review so you're distancing yourself from there and also you did put out um mc business out the door mm -hmm. because people were saying she um gonna be evicted and then you confirm it because if you're a friend and you're gonna come out and say marshals are come or whoever are come you're confirming it yeah so is it now that because that side now don't trust you now you're trying to kind of want to be neutral now or uh, as what's and as um as some people say you fancy now whatever you're doing but i think feel that reviewing this cake might have opened up a can of worms yeah so yeah the reviewing the cake opened up a can of worms the the lady down in the shop said three cake you buy so far yes three times you buy the cake i'm see the tree review last year you bought all the cakes and you review them and then the year before you did buy the cake then um and um you always have a critique in a lot of things to do with the lady down at the shop i think um out of a hundred percent of reviews you always come out with the negatives yeah and then i'm you when i used to review your you i used to critique what you critique you used to be up set about it and also the man the, the speaking my man the, used to see what we could see what you was doing and you never like it mm -hmm. yeah that's that's my that's my take on it so you know people are not really silly really to be honest and we're not saying that uh you can't somebody can't change and you can change and but what's the sudden change because if you did think a certain thing up to a certain point why have you suddenly changed your mind mm? yeah why you suddenly change your mind um you're an intelligent woman so why take you so long for see said this person is a decent person uh, that that's all that's all we want to ask yeah I mean, not we just a bit confused about this because it just to me appears as if it's some kind of damage control more than anything else yeah yeah that's my question really and i don't really want to talk about it too long i just i think it was just a hypocrisy hypocrisy bit that we just thought it seems so um you know hypocrisy just came to mind it went from last week and when we see this this my mighty god you know this person has been exposed in that one sense and that me kind of see really that you've been well and truly you've exposed yourself to be fair yeah as i see it 